what is up guys hi welcome back to my channel i am pumped for this video i'm so excited for this video don't even know today i'm going to be sharing with you guys what to do when you're single on valentine's day Aww. guys oof <laughs> well i'm happy to say i have a list <laughs> a list of ideas that i am going to share with you guys obviously like it's not this full notebook and you know it's february today well not when i'm filming this it's not february for me right now but when this is posted it'll be february so before we get started i would like to say that you don't need a bay to be okay <laughs> it's okay to be it's okay to be single it's okay to be single it's okay it's apps it's obviously it might be hard at times you don't need to have boyfriend or girlfriend to be happy on valentine's day or any day for that matter yeah i just would like to say it's okay to be single it's okay to not have a bae or a boo whatever ladies god is going to send you a man at the right time better than why am i holding this pencil you just have to trust in him pray to god and just you know trust in his timing and have patience trust I'm praying for that too, okay? I'm praying for patience. Just trust in God's timing. I'm there with you, praying for patience and everything. So it's okay, we got this guys, we can wait. We're good. But anyways, I'm here to say, you, Valentine's Day does not have to be dreadful or sad or, or an ungood day. So yeah, ladies, have patience and guys, pray as well, you know? We got this guys, we got this. And ladies, we don't have to hate Valentine's Day just because we're a single Pringle. Why are you so unhealthy? We may be a single Pringle, guys, but guess what? When we find our guy, two Pringles become one. And do you know what that creates? A duck. Do you wanna be a duck right now? No, so wait, okay. We don't have to hate Valentine's Day. It could be so much fun. My past experience with Valentine's Day, like, and I've, I've never had a Valentine on Valentine's Day, but I've never had a bad Valentine's Day. Hope that makes sense. It's never been a bad Valentine's Day, you know? Like, it's never been like, oh, I'm so lonely. Oh my gosh, where's my boyfriend? It's never been like that, okay? <laughs> like, I, it's not. It's like I said, it's okay to want a boyfriend. And you know, obviously it's not like I've never felt like that. Obviously there have been times where like, oh, and you know, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world if it's okay. It's like, doesn't, it's okay. Whether you have, a significant other or not it's still a day where you could choose to have fun and spread love no matter let's get down to the list so let's get started on the list of things what to do when you're single on valentine's day numero uno number one get in the valentine's day lovey-dovey spirit by decorating your house or your room so as you can see i have that little sign right there this is follow your heart it's cute. You know, it's like a cute little Valentine's Day decoration. And it was at the dollar store for a dollar. Decorate your room. Decorate your house. Decorate anywhere. Anything, you know, whether it's decorations from the dollar store or making your own decorations. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, decorate and get that Valentine's Day vibe going, you know? Numero dos. Number two. Wear a fun and festive Valentine's Day outfit on Valentine's Day. So I may or may not be coming out with the Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Just dress in that Valentine's Day spirit. Wear red, wear pink, wear hearts, wear stuff with hearts. I have these heart hoop earrings that I got a few years ago. You know, just dress in that Valentine's Day spirit, you know? It doesn't even have to be red or pink. Just anything that reminds you of love, Valentine's Day, you know? Just, just dress in the spirit so you can feel, you know, just, it's for fun, you know? Just have fun. Obviously, you don't have to wear pink or red outfit to have a good day. Obviously, that's not what I'm saying at all. This is just some stuff you could do that's fun. And this, is, this is stuff I've done, okay? In the, like, in the past and that I will continue to do, whether I'm single or not. And for me, that's wearing red or pink on Valentine's Day. Numero tres. Number three, look for a Valentine's Day event going on somewhere in the area. Maybe there's, I don't know, maybe there's a little venue having a Valentine's Day dance. I know a local place has done that before in my area like the past few years oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh there's going to be a free valentine's day singles hoedown throwdown country style dinner 
Get my country boots video up, let's go. Check your church, maybe your church is having youth group that day. Oh my gosh, bro, there's going to be a youth group on Valentine's Day. A pizza party, get out of town, oh my gosh, we're going. Look for events in your area so you don't have to be home, unless you wanna be home. But if you wanna get out, just look for events that are happening around your area. And just go out and make sure they're safe. You know, don't go to anywhere that seems sketchy or dangerous or uncomfortable. Make sure they're safe and in a comfortable environment. Numero cinco. Just spend time with your family. You know, you can never be spending too much time with your family. I mean, obviously sometimes you just need to step back a little and breathe for a second. Take a breather from your siblings. You know, it's easy to take family and time for granted. So just spend time with your family. I've seen people say online or whatever. I don't wanna spend Valentine's Day with my family. Who does that? I've seen stuff like that. I hope it's not true for everybody. And I know it's not true for everybody, but I know there's some people that just don't wanna spend Valentine's Day with their family. But let me just say, you know, time is very precious. It's okay to spend it with your family. It's actually very fun. I've been doing that the past years, you know? Like I said, it's fun, you know? Maybe your family could have a board, family board game night that night or have a family dinner, whether you go out to dinner or have dinner at your house either way it's a fun and a blessing that's another option you to do spend it with your family have a family board game night watch a movie with them but it's another option and in my opinion it's a very good one number five watch some love story movies and eat valentine's day related snacks i'm just gonna throw out some ideas out there in case you can't think of any movies there's the notebook um high school is <laughs> The Notebook, um, the, the Perfect Man with Hilary Duff, that movie, Mamma Mia, either move part one or part two, A Walk to Remember, Fault in Our Stars, Titanic, there's so many movies out there guys, so many, um, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, To All the Boys I Loved Before, To All the Boys, the To All the Boys movie, there's a lot of other movies out there, if you'd like I can link down below the list of movies but there's trust me just watch a love story movie and eat some eat some nice valentine's day snaps you know a lot of choices out there you know there's rom-coms and there's even sad love stories you know um it's your choice and if you want to choose to cry it out you know that's that's up to you you know just let it out you know release your wiggles there was enough room on that door rose there was enough room on the door Oh my gosh, she's gonna kiss him. She's gonna kiss him. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, don't kiss him. It's your best friend's wedding day. No, 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 don't kiss him. Don't. Oh my gosh, she kissed him. How beautiful. Release your wiggles, release your tears, but then pick yourself back up with a happy movie. You don't want to end the day off watching a sad movie. That's never. It's never fun. If you're gonna watch some sad movies and cry it out, that's okay. But at least pick yourself up with a happy movie. You know, to end the day off on a high note. And that leads to number six. If you do end up watching sad movies or, you know, crying it out, that's okay. And you could also pick yourself up by having a dance party, whether you're by yourself, with your family or friends, just have a dance party and listen to love songs or, you know, just dance songs, you know, just release that energy, you know, just release that energy and have a dance party in your room, in your living room, wherever, just in a safe spot, of course. <laughs> Whatever makes you dance, that's another way to pick yourself up and another way to have a fun day. Number seven. This is a, a very fun way to spread the love with everyone else. I've done this before on, I did it before on a random occasion and I did it on um, suicide prevent, during suicide prevention week. So what I did was I got some post-it sticky notes and um, I got some sticky notes and I wrote positive messages and I just stuck them everywhere I went to. Like, I stuck them at the Lucky's grocery store. Um, where else did I leave them? Grocery outlet, Walmart. Anywhere I went to, I just stuck those sticky notes where any store I went to and just for people to see and find, you know? So just get some post-its, write some positive messages. You know, you could write, you are loved. Um, 
you are beautiful, just any positive message that comes to your mind and leave them for people to see. They'll never see this dummy. Trust me, it'll make their day. And, and if you touch someone, you know, finding a note, it's just the best. You know, helping others, you know, see that they're loved and beautiful, that makes you, that's just the best feeling ever. And that will really make your day 10 out of 10. And another thing related to that you could do, personal favorite of mine, what I did also for during Suicide Prevention Week and what I'm going to do also on Valentine's Day is um, I got some poster boards and I wrote also some positive messages on there. I'll insert a photo here. During Suicide Prevention Week, I went with my cousins, which you saw in the video. Bef two videos before this, the Finish a Sentence Challenge, my two cousins, Kiara and Isabella. Um, we stood at a corner um, and held those signs and a lot of people, you know, haunt and they're like waving and some people, you know, asked about it and um, a lot of people said thank you and it was just the best feeling ever, literally one of my favorite days ever. I can't wait to do it again for Valentine's Day and hopefully more times throughout the year, not just on those days. It's just so fun and... I just loved it so much. That's been one of my favorite days ever. Um, I'm gonna tell my friends about it, see if they wanna join, and you know, just to spread the, you know, spread messages about love and to remind people that they're loved and beautiful and that they're not alone. And you know, I just, that day was just so amazing. Next one, bake cookies. This one, you know, it's fun, obviously, if you, whether you did them already pre-packaged, you know, where you just scoop some out, leave, put it on the sheet tray. But it's also a little extra fun if you make cookies from scratch. I've done this a few times, and it's just, it's fun. It's a good, it's a fun project, um, especially if you have other people there to do it with you. They could be in little heart shapes if you like, you know, or like, you know, just, it's fun, and it's a fun project, and you could have some nice music in the background or maybe a movie in the background while you do that and it's just a really fun it's a really fun activity plus a bonus it makes your house smell amazing so just throwing that out there next one invite friends over maybe you'd have a slumber party or a galentine's party you know or just have your friends over watch watch those movies together you know dance to those awesome love songs you know just have a fun party bake cookies together just Invite your friends over and next one. Let me know that this prop. Next one. Hit a piñata. <laughs> I got this at, where was it? I believe it was Hobby Lobby. Almost a year and a half, like almost a year ago. And I got it for like $3 or $2. It was on sale. You know, this is just, it's very random and yeah, just very random, but get a piñata, release that, you know, your inner strength, and maybe if you have, I don't know, a little bit of frustration because you still haven't found a boyfriend, you know, just relatable stuff, you know? Get a piñata, even more perfect if you have your friends over with you so you could all take a whack at it. Release that, maybe put some more Valentine's Day goodies in there, and even if you don't, it's just, it's always fun to, you know, whack some cardboard. And... The last and final one, pray. And and there's many different options for this. Pray in your home, in your room. Just pray, you know, where you're at. Pray, go to church, maybe spend some time in adoration or go to morning mass or if they have evening mass, pray to St. Valentine, you know, so this is his feast day. And just pray to God and first of all, thank him for everything that you do have and for you still being here today. If you're waiting for that special someone, ask him for patience. You know, I've, trust me, I'm asking him that every day. And, you know, spend some time with Jesus, you know. He loves us so much. What better way to spend Valentine's Day, the day of, you know, a day of love with the person who loves us the very most. That's the last and most important thing on my list. Also, bonus, they have these cute heart bubbles. These cute little bubbles at the dollar store. Not sponsored by dollar store, by the way. 
um, they have these at the dollar store. You know, just pass them out to friends or people you see. You know, and blow some bubbles. Bubbles are so happy and fun and cute. You know, why not? never quiet in here is it um bonus idea read a love story you know a dead book is always nice made up a dance you know for a song that you like another idea another bonus idea get some flowers you know flowers are so happy and nice most importantly don't forget to say i love you to your family your friends, everyone that's important to you. Like I said, time is precious and don't forget to say I love you. So, I love you guys. <laughs> and remember guys, you don't need a bay to be okay. Just pray. <laughs> and remember, Jesus loves you. You are loved so much, more than you know. And don't forget, you are beautiful. You are very beautiful. Whether you believe it or not, you're beautiful and so dearly loved and you are very worth it. And you are appreciated and you are needed here on this earth. So don't forget that. I don't know if you guys caught my little attempt to tease my some of my videos coming up, but I am planning to do a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. It's like, I'm probably gonna do like two looks in one video, two or three looks. And also I think I'm gonna do a Valentine's Day lookbook. So some clothes I already have, just, you know, put together some outfits for inspiration for Valentine's Day. Those will be interesting. I've never done those types of videos. I've done some makeup tutorials, but I've never done a lookbook video. A video that had to do with clothes, so that'll be interesting. That'll be fun. I think that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun planning this video and making this video, and, and I'm sure I'm gonna have a blast editing this later. <laughs> and remember, if you're watching this, I'm praying for you. We got this. We got a long way to go, guys, so let's do this giddy up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Blessed and Beautiful Official. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to comment, if you have any video ideas you'd like to see me do, I love you guys. Have a very blessed and beautiful week. And I'll see you guys next video. God bless. Love you. God bless. <clears throat> and. I pray you guys have a very blessed and obviously this <laughs> turn out talk. Oh. Need to get that voice out. Okay, I don't know why. I feel like whenever I am nervous and I'm talking on camera, my voice just shrinks. And I'll see you guys next video. God bless. God bless. <clears throat> and and I'll see you guys next video. God bless. Oh, bad alignment, May. Hey, Bob! Oh my gosh. Penelope, what if we go to church on Valentine's Day? Why? Catholic cuties, church, the three C's, let's go. Read a good book. Um, play some games. Play some games, so specific. <laughs> you know, play some games, play some board games, some video games. You know, if you're with. You know, oh. okay, everyone sit down right now. This has gone way it's never quiet in here, is it? Another video done. Oh yeah. And um and yeah.